What's good guys and welcome back to the Superhero Buzz, where we cover the latest in everything comic book movie related. I am your host Noah and in this video, I want to talk more about this No Way Home Leaks and what the future could hold for Toby and Andrew, including Miles Morales. And it may not be how you expected, but first, if you could, hit that subscribe button so you can get the latest buzz and everything comic book movie related. This will also qualify you for my new giveaway. So watch till the end of the video for the rest of those details. Anyways, there's quite a bit to unpack, so need to say more? Let's dive right in. So yesterday we got those plot details, which in my opinion were downright crazy. According to an insider known as the Mystery Man, we could even see Miles Morales debut in the film, and he'll apparently come from Andrew's universe. But once he appears, both him and Tom Holland will stay in the MCU. But I gotta be honest with you, I don't think that's a good idea and I'll explain why. This movie's going to be packed, with all three Spider-Men set to return, along with their respective villains. It doesn't make sense to add another Spider-Man. So in the best interest of Miles, I think they should save him for later. Don't get me wrong, I can't wait to see him make his debut, but having him appear No Way Home really wouldn't do the character justice, well at least in my opinion. Why not save him for his own solo film, where they could solely focus on his story instead of the others? But if he does end up appearing in the film, I hope it's only for a small cameo. At the least, they can establish where he came from, which is apparently Andrew's universe. Now let's talk about Andrew. According to that same report, he'll apparently be with his version of MJ, who was set to be played by Cheyenne Woodley, though she won't be appearing in the film. But I found this interesting for a couple reasons. This could mean they have future plans for Andrew. Because according to another report from Daniel Ritman, he's set to continue playing Peter Parker after No Way Home. And yes, he will end up in the MCU. And the same goes for Toby. But it gets even weirder. Because according to another report that I want you to take with a grain of salt, he could also appear in Venom 2, which would inherently establish a shared universe. But that doesn't mean Tom will never cross paths with Venom. Because in the multiverse, anything is possible. So my theory is, after No Way Home, could they be gearing up to make The Amazing Spider-Man 3, and potentially Spider-Man 4 with Toby? Because there have been reports of a fourth installment happening, which could be directed by Sam Raimi, and it would apparently work as a spin-off to Doctor Strange 2, thereby further connecting Sony's universe to the MCU, or in this case, the Spider-Verse. I guess only time will tell. Having said that, what are your thoughts on this? And would you like to see Miles in No Way Home? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Now let's get into the giveaway details. I'll be giving away the first exclusive Superhero Bus t-shirt that is now available in all sizes. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time.